Welcome back, it is Friday, that means FNA Friday, and today it's going to be about work-life balance, productivity, and burnout. Okay, so on my YouTube comments, and sometimes on Instagram and the places where I post, people are asking me about my schedule because of the stuff that I post and things that are at work, kind of like what is my day, and also how do I deal with the workload? the amount of work that I have, what if I have burnout, how do I deal with burnout? So I thought today I'm gonna to lump all this together into one big f and I'm gonna talk about my process, my schedule, how I go about things and how I do and schedule my day. So for me, work is not life. There has to be a work-life balance. So it's not work equals life, it is really a balance and preferably life is a bit higher up there and has more weight. But of course, depending on the situation, you might not have the luxury to put more emphasis on your life and you have to focus on work. But for me, I try really hard to have that balance and really work and then turn my brain off and then enjoy life. Because for me, the productivity and the risk of having burnout is directly linked to that work-life balance. It all depends kind of on my schedule. Sometimes I have a lot to do, sometimes I don't really have that much to do. And mainly I work at ILM, which comes first because that is my day job, that is the main job, it pays my bills and is my career and the main focus in terms of work. On the side, I also teach. And depending on schedule, I have a lot of classes, sometimes not that many classes, but technically I teach at animation mentor in the city. I don't know why I point this way, but, but I teach in the city a physical on-site class. I also teach an academy online class. At the same time, I also teach animation mentor. Then I also have my animation workshops, as you know, if you watch my channel. And now on top of those classes, I do have my YouTube channel. As you know, you're watching this on YouTube where I post more lectures and FNAs and critiques and I kind of lump all of this into my teaching group. But that group should not interfere with ILM. So ILM is the main focus. So whatever I have at work in terms of the schedule, over time or whatever it is, all the teaching has to be structured around it and make sure that it doesn't interfere in terms of schedule that I can't do over time or that I can't hit the deadlines or just kind of anything that's a problem for ILM in terms of deadline and just general job interference needs to be avoided. So all the classes are kind of built around that. I'm not going to have five classes in the evening, which I can't anyway, which means that I can't do any potential overtime in the evening or weekends if I had a class on the weekend. At the same time, I don't want to stop teaching because I love teaching. So I want to keep an eye on the schedule and make sure that I have a class somewhere. So I don't want to stop that. And I don't always have classes for all of those. So sometimes there are not enough students for the mentor class. I teach all kinds of different classes there with beginner to acting, but also creature classes. And you never know who signs up or who doesn't sign up and if there's enough demand for a class. So sometimes I don't have animation mentor. Sometimes a physical class at the academy, the same thing, there are not enough signups, student demand wasn't enough for that class, or whatever reason there is. And online academy is not that often, but when it happens and there's room, then I teach it. So again, it doesn't mean that there's always a class there. That being said, right now, there is. I do have an on-site, I do have an online, I do teach mentor and I have my workshops. So it's a lot and I thought, mm, maybe I should just document just once, even just for myself, how it is. And actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my stories, but I did save them. And I wanna actually walk through that day with you now so you can kind of see what my day is when I get up in the morning and what I do throughout the day and until I go to bed. Let me make some room, let's play this here. So you can see that I get up usually at quarter to five and by the time I stumble into the bathroom, it is close to five. I wake up and got my morning protein shake and then I get into my office, which you can see it looks somewhat okay until I pan over to the mess, which I never have time to clean. It's a constant struggle. And then I do usually academy critiques in the morning and workshop critiques. Then on Wednesdays at six or at this term, actually it's 6.30, I have a Q and A with my students. And then after the Q&A is done, I am exporting my workshop critique in Premiere for a YouTube upload. And while that goes on, I do my Animation Buffet rig uploads and Twitter postings and all that stuff that I do in the morning. Then it's time to go to work and work has traffic. This time was some bad traffic on the bridge, but usually you have some traffic. Then I get to work. That is the work lobby, as you can see, and I'm not allowed to show too much in there. But on Wednesdays, we have donuts and I said no because I have to lose weight. Inside ILM, don't tell anybody that I filmed this, you have some props and some models and posters. There's some awesome goodies displayed. Those costumes rotate, not the Stormtroopers, but those side costumes. Every now and then there's some new ones. Then it's lunchtime, saying no to tater tots and burgers and fries and I have something healthier. Then in the afternoon, there's more awesome stuff everywhere you look. I'm a massive fan of this. You might not be, but I love it. And then it's done. I say bye-bye to Darth 
and it's time to go to the city. Yes, there's still traffic. I park, I get out of there, walk to school, and as I walk, I say no to more, 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 more stuff that I can't eat. Then I'm at the class, that's the 180 building. I'm inside the physical, can't film people there. That is not allowed. I don't want to have them on screen. That would, that would be rude. Then I get out and when I'm at home, I post the critique that I exported and I post that everywhere, Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and later on Instagram. And that was the day, quarter to five and I went to bed at 11.35, which means the next day, I actually get up at six. Usually I get up at quarter to five. That is the schedule. Tip the weekends, it's a bit later, but I try to kind of be somewhat regular in terms of when I get up. And I get up this early in the morning because I want to be productive. And I do more in the morning because there are no disturbances. There's no email, no text, no nothing. Like no one's around, everybody's sleeping. I'm alone in my office and I can get all my work done. I also feel better when I get everything done in the morning and nothing is looming throughout the day or in the evening. That being said, every now and then there's more to do and it kind of swaps into the evening scheduled block which I try to keep open for just personal things but every now and then that happens now as I work on those things I try to be as I would say automated but I have a lot of templates so when I do my critique I put that into my premiere template which has the intro the outro all the logos and everything I just put in my critique and adjust the end where the the outro comes in and export that same thing if I post a rig on my animation buffet website that has an automatic post on Twitter then I just manually put that onto my personal Twitter account but I also like to sometimes post things separately and specifically with different images and so on and so on. So I have my, my own kind of thing, but at the same time, I'm trying to have lots of templates. That includes anything that I do in Premiere. If I post something on Instagram, I look at my previous post, copy paste the whole thing, all the hashtags and everything, and then kind of change the intro text. So there's a lot of copy pasting going on, there are a lot of templates and things that I can use. Same thing in Photoshop, if I do my thumbnails for YouTube, I have a, a Photoshop template with all the titles and I just bring in new images and kind of tweak these as you kind of do but all of that is there to save me time. By the way, I ordered the new chair. So this creaking is gonna be over, I think this weekend, maybe next week, definitely next week, a new chair, finally. But as you saw in Instagram story, I have a stream deck, which I don't use for streaming yet. I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming anytime soon, but I use it for other things, which will be a review actually, a separate post. But there's so many things that I do over and over and over. Like if I have my workshop, I gotta write the past to the thing, certain elements in the text that I keep repeating. And all of that, you can have custom actions on that stream deck. So all I gotta do is push a button to open this, push a button to write that text. Or if I do my Q&A uh, using Zoom, usually you open Zoom and then you have whatever the main page and then you choose your participants and the, and the video webcam turns on. And of course you could do all of this by hand. I could do all of this by hand. But even with that with Stream Deck, you can say an action, delay some time, another action, and all of that, just push one button and then it opens up. I know this sounds extremely lazy, but trust me, if you do those things all the time, every day, repetitive things, you want to have something where you don't have to do this over and over and over. And it just saves me time. And it's also mentally, I can just go and kind of turn my brain off, do those things and prepare. So all of that goes into not burning out. So the little things, but they add up, at least for me. I also keep a really tight schedule at work. So I'm hourly, I'm not paid salary. So if I'm working 40 hour weeks, so it's eight hour a day, after the eighth hour, I'm out. Now I know this might be very antisocial or you know, whatever you want to call this, but I want to go home and see my family. I want to have dinner with my kids. I want to put my little kid to bed. I want to read to him. So for me, when work is done, work is done. And it's not that I don't like work or I don't like the people there, but again, I want to have work and then I want to have that balance and then I want to go home and have my family life. And that's where that balance comes in. So I wake up early in the morning to get my teachings done and all the little things that I need to do. Then I do my work block and then I come home. So when I'm home, I can spend time with my kid, I can have dinner, I can snuggle with my wife, we can watch a movie together, we can watch a TV show together, I can play some video games, I can read a book. There's all kinds of things I can do, and mainly it's something that is not work related. I can just decompress, relax, and just do the things that I can either do with my, my wife or my kids and my family, or something by myself. If I watch a horror movie that I usually watch by myself, and that's the balance that I'm trying to go for. And on top of that, I try to schedule an exercise. Now this is again tricky because I have the obligations because of work and the teachings, but I don't want this to be where, well, I don't have time to exercise, so I'm not gonna do this. Every now and then that happens, but I'm 40, 
how old am I, 42? No, I'm 41, I'm gonna be 42 actually soon. Anyway, so I need to exercise, I need to have that balance of, I'm sitting here, I'm already slouch, and I sit in the car, and I sit at work, I mean, I can stand at work too, and I can stand here, I have a, this table that goes up and down. So I have ways, but generally still, I need to exercise and I want to exercise. I also like to swim a lot, I like to play basketball and tennis. And actually just recently bought a hoop that I have outside that I can play with my little kid. I can bring the hoop down and then bring it up where I can play. And of course I got my dog. So whenever I can, if it's not raining, but sometimes even in the rain, we go out and I walk for half an hour with my dog. So I really try to have a good balance in terms of work and then family and then exercise to stay healthy. Of course, there are always some compromises, there are always some exceptions, but at least I try to do that. And if I don't do this, especially if you have at work, you have, you have your overtime food, which we're lucky to get, sometimes it's not the healthiest food. And then, you know, things grow. And right now I'm at a place where I need to lose a lot of weight, hence all the no when you see all those temptations. But I, I try to be healthy and I try to stay within that healthy balance, like I said, where I really want to focus on all those things. I don't wanna just work and also just don't wanna be just lazy and I don't wanna just exercise. So I want that, that healthy blend and that mix that gives me an overall balanced, hopefully a balanced life. Now that's during the week. So on the weekends, Saturday, Sunday, I do nothing. Again, there are exceptions. Sometimes we have Saturday overtime, could be. Uh, sometimes it have maybe some critiques are important or something for the channel that I need to edit, I'm not done yet, and I'm just trying to do this in, in the morning maybe, or maybe in the evening, but I try in the morning. But Saturday is usually time for my kids, because my wife is working on Saturdays right now. So Sunday is then family time with everybody, and I really try to do nothing in terms of work. It's just family time, it's quality over quantity, and I don't want to think about work, and then by Sunday night I can go to bed, and then Monday, the whole thing starts again. That being said, I like my work. I like what I do. I like animating. I like animating at the company that I'm at. I like teaching. And I like all those other things that I do. But if there ever is a sense of I'm overworked or I'm stressed or I'm tired or starting to get exhausted, I do a hard stop. Time. Like this week. So right now we're working on Star Wars Episode 9. There was a lot to do and as you could see on Wednesday that was a long day and I didn't have time to work on the acting analysis and I was really tired and I didn't want to work on this on Thursday until 3 or 4 in the morning and then post it. So I have my schedule. I upload the things that I do as you can see. If I don't get to my bigger uploads I upload a critique because I have almost a thousand critiques so I have a lot of material that I can upload for you hopefully the, to learn but I'm not going to kill myself and get up and do this. So I didn't have time, I was tired. So I said, no, I was not gonna do this. Didn't upload anything besides the critique, which was already done. And it was Thursday, which means Star Trek Discovery time. And I sat down with my wife, we watched uh, the episode and it was great and I relaxed. And the same is with work. So if we have work and there's overtime, if after a while it just gets too much, I just stop and it's not mandatory overtime. And if I'm too tired and exhausted, I won't be efficient anyway at work. And we have the freedom to tell production, listen, I can't come in or I feel overworked, I'm just not gonna do this, I just do my regular time. And they're okay with that. And then once I'm recovered, I can go back and do overtime if I want to. So I try to choose specifically when I work, like how much I work and on what days. So it's a, it's not a feeling of there's so much and I'm overloaded. It's I'm choosing to work this little or this much and I'm trying to schedule things so it's always something that I can manage. So that's my balance. And sometimes you gotta take sick days, so you gotta schedule your vacation. The moment I feel overloaded, again, it's a hard stop. I just stop doing anything that is not, you know, endangering my, my life, my family life and paying my bills. So anything that's extra, I just stop it because it's not worth it. I need to be healthy. I need to be able to function. So then I decide I'm going to cut back on the extra things that I'm doing and focus on the main stuff and just relax and recover. And at the same time, I have a lot of little things that I enjoy that I use and do during the day to just keep me in a good mood. And I'm, I'm a simple person, so I can be in the car. Right now, I'm binging through the Inglorious Trexperts podcast. I'm a massive Star Trek fan and those episodes are so much fun. I listen to a lot of podcasts in the car. At work, I listen to music. I listen to podcasts. Podcasts. I listen to movies. I don't watch movies because you want to be distracted, but I can listen to movies that I know. So I can put on Star Wars, I can put on whatever, Star Trek, I can put on Lord of the Rings, I put on The Matrix, or whatever movie that where I like the sounds and then the voices. And there's a lot of stuff that I can do that just keeps me in a certain good mood and, and kind of also maybe distracts me from 
the potential stress of work or whatever is going on. Now, that being said, this is just something that I do. This is not a clip where I tell you do this and this is going to work for you. But I just want to answer the questions that I got. What what do you do and how do you schedule all those things? So that's that. That doesn't mean it's going to work for you. It doesn't mean that you have the same opportunities or the same possibilities to do what I do. But again, I just wanted to let you all of you know, especially those that ask me, this is my day. I get up really, really early in the morning because I want to get everything done in the morning so that I have a of mind in the evening and sometimes if I have more to do I have the time in the evening to get that done as well if I would sleep in and then get everything done in the evening I mean I guess you could offset the hours but then I would go to bed really really late and I don't want to do that either I want to have a, a regular healthy somewhat healthy uh, sleep schedule where I do sleep six to seven hours ideally they say eight hours but I also have a hard get up at seven because my little one gets up at seven so if I go to bed at three four which again I don't want to do I have to get up at seven, I have to get ready, there's breakfast, it's a little guy, and then I sleep only three, four hours, and that's really unhealthy, and I obviously, it's dangerous to drive, it's, it's really unproductive in terms of work, so that is my current schedule, quarter to five, I get up, six on Thursdays, and on weekends, usually six as well, uh, and that's so far um, works for me. Again, I get a lot of stuff done in the morning and then evenings and weekends. That's the balance that I have uh, to kind of offset the work with just things that I enjoy. And right now I'm reading multiple books and of course Star Trek. That's one I just got. That's actually really, really good. The writing is really great. Currently also going through uh, Stephen King on writing. And there's some other filmmaking and animation books that I want to read because I also wanted the reviews, but I just want to also just keep educating myself outside of work. But again, you can't just do all of this all the time and not offset this with relaxation time and just recovery time. And not just mentally, but also physically with uh, exercises. So that's it. Uh, I don't know if this was helpful. I hope it was at least interesting to watch. If you're still here and you watched the whole thing, you know that I really appreciate this. And that's it. So uh, comments, if you have anything to say about this, any suggestions or what is your schedule, comments are open as always. You can, of course, like and subscribe. I gotta say this, it's YouTube. But that is it uh, for me. That was the FNA and I will see you next week.